Today as the Oklahoma State Cowboys hit the field for the final time this season in the 60th annual Liberty Bowl. So joining us today, Eskimo Joe's owner Stan Clark with a look at this year's bowl game shirt. Uh, welcome back to the program, Stan. Well, I'm thrilled to be here. Thanks for having me. So I've got to ask, first of all, the idea for this shirt as we are going to take a look at it. Where did the idea for the shirt come from? Well, you know, Eskimo Joe's is all about fun, always has been. So anytime we take any theme or any, um, you know, opportunity, we always have to come at it from the, the slant of fun. So Joe's not only got a, you know, is he's not only going to the ball game, but he's got his guitar over his shoulder and he's got the mic in his hand and obviously um, Memphis known for music and especially the blues. So. Uh, we're going to be rocking in Memphis. That's our theme. Yes. And uh, we've got uh, Beale Street depicted in the shirt there. And, of course, the, the 60th annual Liberty Bowl mark, which is very, very important uh, to the piece and to why, why we're doing it in the first place. But the idea of rocking in Memphis with Mexico Joes is, is really our slant. It's always about fun with Eskimo Joes. And so, but we're really proud for the Cowboys. It's a great opportunity, frankly, for a 6-6 six and six team to get to play in such a prestigious bowl. Mm against such a really a, a big time uh, opponent, 23rd ranked Missouri Tigers. So we're excited about the whole deal. And you know, it's down to even the details. We were talking about uh, Eskimo Joe here wearing the blue suede boots. Hey, you got that right. Right, and you said Beale Street <laughs> in the background. So so many different things. I want to ask you, you know, you all have come up with countless designs over the years. Who comes up with these designs and all the tiny little elements that go into them? <laughs> well, Mike Stavis has been our creative director since 1983. Really? So you think about that. It's 35 years Mike's been doing this Eskimo Joe's artwork. He's a Vanita native, OSU grad. I met Mike sitting at the bar at Eskimo Joe's. A friend said, hey, you ought to do a special shirt for us for our anniversary. I said, well, I would, but I don't know how I'd do it. He said, well, that guy sitting at the bar can do it. He introduced me to Mike. No and really, kidding. the rest is history. But um, we also have three full-time artists that work at Eskimo Joe's Promotional Products Group, which is our business-to-business -business promotions company. And so all four of those guys collaborate on our designs now. So it's really helpful. You know, Mike's still kind of the inspiration. He's done the Joe's work forever, but it's great to have all that support team there to help him. And it helps us get to market quicker. Mm, and that's all in-house. Absolutely. It's all in-house, including the printing. You know, so we've been doing incredible. our own printing since 1990. And one last thing, you, you of course, you have Pistol Pete, and that is a special arrangement with Oklahoma State. I mean, a lot of people have Oklahoma State things and on Etsy and Pinterest and different things, but you all have a really special relationship to be able to put the specific logos on there. Yeah, we're really excited that Joe and Pete can combine together. And uh, OSU came to us with that opportunity and that offer about seven years ago. And, and of course, we were as honored as we could possibly be, mm -hmm. flattered and thrilled to do it. And we've committed to doing at least three co-branded shirts, as we call it, Joe and Pete shirts, um, every year. And we typically will do more than that. But, <laughs> but we're committed to doing at least three each year. I just I don't know if a lot of people know that, so I just wanted to, to, to have you say that. But, uh, Stan, uh, thank you so much for your time today. Well, it's my pleasure. And, and go folks. <laughs> yeah, there we go. The Liberty Bowl kicks off 245 on New Year's Eve in Memphis, Tennessee. There we go.